early 2012, Jeremy Lin had a stretch as one of the best players in the NBA, and it was dubbed Lin Sanity. He not only averaged some insane numbers in this stretch, but will put up 38 versus Kobe's Lakers and hit a massive game winner versus the Raptors to help his team win eight out of nine games. But this stretch didn't last long, and he would be out of the NBA. Today, we're changing history, though, and forcing him to stay in Lin Sanity mode. But before Lin Sanity, his career starts in Golden State on the bench, and when he did play, he didn't perform well at all. His season was limited, and he would be moving to the New York Knicks for his second season. By the second half of the season, Lin was in full swing of Lin Sanity. He was scorching hot and was helping New York make a playoff push. He was paired with elite teammates Carmelo and Stoudemire and had a legit chance to contend. The Knicks would have momentum from their Big three's great play and end up making the playoffs. In round one, they were facing a talented Boston team with Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett down low, and sharpshooter Ray outside the perimeter. Lin was ready to take on the challenge and was continuing his hot play for the regular season. He made Rondo's defense look laughable and his playoff debut was going great personally but it wasn't going as well for his team with the series back in new york Melo was having a legacy defining caliber game five he knew his team season was on the line and as the veteran of the team he provided to keep them alive but with boston striking back in game six it wasn't going to matter douglas with the ball lamar thought of our setting the screen douglas the drive the pull up i don't know who douglas is gave you the board jeremy lynn's gonna be losing his game the knicks are getting blown out what a failed season. Following the loss, Jalen left for the Rockets. He was the guy in Houston and was the face of the city with a full green light from the coaches. Sure, he had James Harden with him, but at this point, he wasn't an MVP player just yet. Lin was becoming an offensive powerhouse here in Houston, and every match he seemed to be improving. His efficiency was incredible, and teams absolutely had to have him on their scouting reports. He would produce a notable stat line for the year and ended up being rewarded with his first appearance as an all-star, but not so much for his team. I knew the team was struggling because their bench sucks but i did not think they would do this bad 20 and 62 is just insane in 2014 lynn was getting some much needed help from dwight they created one of the most terrifying pick and roll duos and this season was much different from the last bro what jeremy lynn gets an mvp in what year four i i didn't think he was gonna get mvp i thought he was gonna do good but an mvp is just crazy 35 and 10 a game let's see what he could do in the playoffs round one he was up against memphis while they had a gritty squad it wasn't going to be enough to keep up with the scoring tandem of lynn and harden after only five games houston was advancing round two wasn't going to be the same walk in the park though lob city was in full effect with cp3 and griffin in the pick and roll fellow all-star chris paul was harassing the young jeremy lynn on defense and taking advantage on the fast break lynn was still finding opportunities to score but blake's athletic offense was matching lynn's scoring outbursts and the series was going back and forth. One game after the other, the two predominantly offensive teams would trade wins until it was all knotted up for Game 7. In Game 7, it was the battle of the point guards with Jeremy Lin and Chris Paul both aggressively attacking on offense. They were the two best point guards in the league at this time, and they were putting on a show for the history books, but Chris Paul would have the edge late. In this Game 7, the Rockets are currently down by four with only a minute to go. They have the ball here. Jalen's MVP season is on the line. I was thinking maybe they could already get a championship, but it's looking like they might get bounced. Jalen gets the screen from Dwight. Is Jeremy Lin clutch? The step back. The pull of Jay. Oh, my God. Los Angeles winning now. Chris Paul is fouled out, I believe. If you get a stop here, maybe you still have a chance. You have to get a stop there. There's no questions. No ifs, ands, or buts. Blake Griffin. Where's Dwight? Dwight needs to guard this man. Oh, my God. Blake is too good. He missed the light. His put back is in, though. If you're Houston, you have to score here. If you don't score here, this season is over. No ifs, ands, or buts. The season is over if you don't score. They get into Parsons. Jeremy Lin with it. Maybe a quick three. You were open. You could have took that Jay Lin. James Harden coming around on Dwight's screen. They don't get it to him. You're wasting a lot of time here. You got to do something, Jeremy Lin. Looking to operate. The Dwight Howard screen on the right. Jeremy Lin, the exact same look. And it's off again. The Rockets are going to be bounced in seven. Normally, Lin would be traded to the Lakers this season. But in our reality, the Rockets extended him as their best player. He'd go on to have another solid year, but Dwight would begin regressing and miss significant time this season with injuries. Luckily, Harden was forming into a superstar by this point, and they'd have plenty to still make the playoffs. Which was perfect timing for Harden, because he was facing his old team in round one. Harden was salivating at the melt at the opportunity to defeat the team that gave up on him with a trade. Lin would have to take a backseat during the series, as Harden was a man possessed by revenge.
revenge. And it will work out after a sweep of OKC. Dame's AC to Blazers had upset the Spurs in round one to advance to round two, but they weren't going to be upsetting Houston. Lynn looked like a man set up Blazers, and he refused to miss as he was finally making it to the conference finals. And Jalen is making his first conference finals. Another sweep here in round two of the Blazers. 8-0 in the playoffs so far. But next, they face Steph Curry and the Warriors. That stretch of eight wins straight was coming to a screeching halt, though, as Steph Curry came out of the gate, sparking deep threes and route to a win in Golden State. In game two, their momentum would continue with Klay Thompson picking right over where Curry had left off. And in the blink of an eye, the Rockets were in a two-game deficit. To make matters worse, Harden was also out for the rest of the season after an arm injury. Back at home in Houston, Lynn was fighting hard to keep his team in the series and earn a trip to the finals. He'd have his playoff career high with 41 points, but it wasn't going to be enough to trump one of the best teams ever. Warriors would finish the job in game four and Lynn fell short only one series from the finals. They would be all but guaranteed another trip to the finals though as they had the best backcourt in the NBA. Back in the first round, they faced Davis in New Orleans, but it was an easy series that they would win in six. Following round one, they played OKC again and Harden's personal vendetta wasn't over as he'd lead the way again. Until eventually they would meet the Warriors once more. This time around, Lynn and the Rocks were prepared and James Harden was actually healthy. The Splash Brothers were still elite from behind the arc, but Lynn and Harden scoring shadowing their shooting and it was going to be a mirror of the year prior and he will finally be heading to the nba finals but those finals will feature a major challenge for houston LeBron would strike first and Houston with a commanding game one win. Jeremy Lin refused to fall behind in the series though and will put his foot on the pedal in game two with an all out onslaught of scoring which would be enough to tie this series up. It wasn't stopping there though as Lin would continue terrorizing the Cavaliers defense in Cleveland as well. He would outlast LeBron and Kyrie to take game three and then in game four he would do the same and establish a huge lead in the series. LeBron of course would not be offered to count just yet. A three to one deficit doesn't face him and he was planning to take it game by game to chip back into winning the finals. Jeremy Lin had other plans on his agenda, though. He was matching each shot from LeBron and cruising into the final moments of Game 5, looking to close this thing out. We're in this Game 5, and Houston is currently up by one with just over a minute to go. Jeremy Lin has it. If he can score here and get some stops, he's going to become an NBA champion. Jeremy Lin with Kyrie on him. He's trying to swerve through the defense. It's crowded. Jeremy Lin draws the foul. No go on the AM one Lin hits both free throws. LeBron has it now. Down by three with a minute to go. What is King James going to do with his season on the line? His legacy even on the line. He gets the screen for Tristan Thompson. LeBron, the pull-up jumper. Bang! He gets it in! Jeremy Lin now with it only up by one. You got to score here. LeBron looks like a man on a mission. Nay, I say a man determined to win. What kind of pass was that? What a poor calculation by Jeremy Lin on that pass. I could have sworn he went to Harvard. I don't know how you make a mistake like that. Very giant inbound and it gets it in the Kyrie's. Down a little LeBron. This guy Gordon Brown. Who this is Gordon LeBron? Who put this guy LeBron? Kyrie at the end. James Harden guarded him here on the wing. Left wing. Isolation all by himself. Kyrie saucing him up. 12 seconds left in the shot clock. 30 seconds left in the game clock. Kyrie now we're getting great defense from James Harden. Not going to defend her. Kyrie drives in. His right. Oh, my God. We are poised to possibly see an all-time great shot by Jeremy Lin or an all-time fumble by the Rockets. Lin with it now. About a second separating shot clock and the game clock. Jay Lin. Burning the clock. He's taking a lot of shots. He gets the screen for Dwight. Jeremy Lin to the right side. He had to open three turns it down. He's got the mismatch. Tristan Thompson. They throw it down to Dwight. Dwight in the clutch. No! Dwight, oh! Capella, the light gun! They take the lead with five seconds to go! What a roller coaster of emotions. I thought Dwight was taking a fade. He threw a download to Clint. The Cavs have five seconds. LeBron with it. Three seconds left. LeBron, he's got to hoist the three. Oh, it's off! The Rockets win! Jeremy Lin's an NBA champion! And Jeremy Lin was taking home the finals MVP before preparing for the next season. That next regular season would be just a courtesy at this point as they would fly back to the playoffs as the one seed. The first two rounds of the playoffs also seemed to be a formality as the Rockets cruised by to face the Warriors again. After losing at Houston last year, they recruited Kevin Durant and had a whole new look. Curry was still abusing illegal screens, Draymond was still elite on defense, and Clay was Clay. These guys were good. It was going to be Lin's most difficult challenge yet, and the question was if he could rise to the occasion. He'd certainly be fighting hard, but while down 3-2 in the series, he was down late in Game 6. Here in Game 6, the Rockets are currently down by four. It's not looking good. Jeremy Lin's out of the game. James Harden has got to try to save this game for Lin. Down by four. James driving in. He dunks it in. The big slam. The Warriors with the ball now. They have a lot of offense. Kevin Durant back door for the quick slam on the other end. 
back up by four. How do you let KD simply go back door like that? Man, what a joke on defense. James Harden, Clay Thompson guarding him. He gets the screen for Capella. Dwight is no longer in the team. It's just Clint out there for the bigs. They're playing small ball. Clint? Drive out the corner? Who the fuck gave it a Clint? There is no way I would trust my C's on the line with a guy named Clint coming around blowing right by the smaller Gordon. This one might be over. Lou win with the ball now. Down by six. You have to go quick. JaVale. They get down with the Clint. He goes again. That lays good. Down by four. Now they're probably gonna foul. Yeah. Oh, wait. It's going to Clay. They aren't fouling. They're, they're trying to trap Draymond. That's the guy too foul. Maybe they can do a chance. Unfortunately, Dre hits both. I think if you don't get a quick three here, this series is over and their season may be done for. James Harden with it at the top. James with Clay on him. Sizing him up. No step at three. Oh, he tries to draw the, the foul. It's no good. That's going to do it. A Rockets lose. And Jeremy Lin is now a free agent. Jeremy left Houston to join Atlanta in the offseason and continued to be one of the top scorers in the league. The rest of his teammates weren't as talented, with the next leading scorer being John Collins with 9.1 points per game. Lin will bolster his scoring output even more as the sole scorer on the team and had probably his best personal performance, but he fell far short of making the playoffs. And Trey went from on top of the world to the bottom really quick. 13 and 69. And, and there's just no good young talent on this team either to help him. And things weren't improving during the rest of his Hawks contract as the next two years were also major failures. After all the losing, he left Atlanta as fast as possible and headed out to Los Angeles. He was being joined by some legit stars this time with Kawhi Leonard as the best player on the team and PG-13 as the other big dog here in LA. Lynn was becoming old by this point, but still had a bit of gas left in the tank to pursue one final push for a ring. That final push would be put on hold though as in round one, they faced the Warriors again and Curry was as hungry as ever for another ring. He was in his own stratosphere of talent this year Year and stomped straight through the Clippers. And the next season was critical because he said it would be his last. He had a decent regular season again, but by this point in his career, all that mattered was the postseason. Round one was against the old foe of Durant, but Kawhi was shutting him down. It would be an easy series for Lynn and the Clippers. They would face another all-time great of LeBron again in round two, and Kawhi would also shut him down. And now Kawhi and Lynn were on their ways to the conference finals. But now they would have to get past the Mavs, who not only had Luka Doncic, but also featured Kyrie Irving, a point guard who was just a matchup nightmare. Jeremy Lin would help his team make things difficult for Dallas and push it to a tight Game 7 for a trip to the finals. The Clippers are down by three here in a Game 7 with just over 90 seconds remaining. A minute, 34 seconds. Kawhi has it on the left. Jeremy Lin at the top. Luka Doncic is trying to stick him. They get down low to Kawhi in the post. This is the best player on the team. He's got to be the go-to guy. Kawhi, can he provide? He can't. Kawhi cannot deliver. Kyrie Irving on the other end. He's pushing the pace on a fast break. One minute, but he blows by old ass Jeremy Lin. Down by five. Now, this is not a good situation to be in if you're a Los Angeles Clippers fan. Jeremy Lin saucing up Luka. He's trying to score here. Are they going to get They get it into Kawhi again? Kawhi with the Gatorade Cup. The post hook. Oh, my God. That might do it. Luka on this end. Another fast break. Blow right by Jeremy Lin. Seven point game now. This thing is over. This thing is over. Jeremy Lin falls short of the finals again. And after that loss, he would enter retirement not only as an MVP, but also as an NBA champion. But what if I force Anthony Davis to stay healthy? Find out by clicking this video.